This Oakdale, bud. You got grit and integrity. That's all you need. This is our town. We have to protect it. I'll die on this hill, bud. I got everything I need right here. I'm serious. You guys are soft now. Nah, that's not going to fly here. This Oakdale, bud. So this whole thing started back a few months ago when I did a video called Cal Poly Bro, where I made a parody on the Cal Poly students down in Cal Poly. I was a student down there and I had a bunch of people comment, you should do one on Oakdale. And I was a little hesitant at first because I didn't want to like offend anybody. I didn't want people to think I was mocking Oakdale because I love Oakdale. Uh, Oakdale is very near and dear to me. But one day my brother and I were, you know, let's just mess around and see what we can come up with. We didn't really have a whole lot planned and uh, we ended up editing it and I actually sat on it for about two or three months. I was very hesitant to release it. So eventually one day I was just like, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna release it. The people that know me from this town know that I love this town. So I eventually released it and I was shocked honestly by the reception. It's just how many shares it was getting, how many likes, how many comments. After I released that video, I really thought, you know, this is a great way to, to put Oakdale on a little bit. One thing I've always wanted to do as a filmmaker is give back to my hometown as much as I can. And one might think, well, it's a parody. So how, how is that like boosting Oakdale? The way I see it is people will pay attention to content that makes them laugh or makes them cry. And everything in between isn't gonna really be paid much attention to. You gotta make them feel something. What some people might view as negative things about Oakdale, I view them as quirks, uh, uniquenesses, good old boys, a Tesco festival, all that stuff. I think that's just what makes a town unique. That's what gives a town character. That's what gives the town uh, flavor, if you will, by highlighting all those quirks. It brings attention to Oakdale. It makes people realize, oh, that's an interesting town. It's different, it's unique, but there's not another like it, at least in that area. And also, uh, I'm an actor. And so this character that I play in Oakdale Bud, it really allows me to cultivate my skills as a comedic actor. And, you know, most importantly, I hope it, oddly enough, evokes a sense of pride in the fact that you're from Oakdale. So this wraps up the trilogy of Oakdale Bud. We'll probably be doing some specials later on, but I don't want to wear it out too much, so stay tuned.